Hi, this is part two of my style master post. If you still haven't watched part one, here's the link to it. In there, we have the elegant, glamorous, academic, and artsy style families. Like I stated in the last video, there is an infinite amount of styles because everyone can create their own. You don't have to marry a single style. You can combine them, add your personal touches, and develop your own style. A master post like this can help you narrow down the options that you might want to look into. Here is a playlist with my individual style breakdowns and my guide on how to find your own style. And please do make suggestions if you want me to cover one that you like. If you want to skip some of the steps while developing your style, you can hire me as your selling coach by going to cocostyling.com. Similar aesthetics will be part of a style family and some of them might belong to more than one. Today, let's start with the romantic family. Romantic styles are all about lush and feminine details. Think flounces, frills and swells. There is also a more masculine version of it, which isn't exactly masculine, it's more androgynous. It's like a punk version of it, and I will talk about that one in the next video. Cottage score. This is romantic, but make it rural. I have an in-depth video about cottage core. Here's the link if you like this style. It is very rustic and natural. Ethereal. Ethereal would be romantic, but whimsical. Think about what an angel or mystical creature would wear if it had to come down to earth. This style is all about a magical vibe that reflects the happy parts of a fairy tale. There is also a nymphette style, which technically it's the coquette style, but the name to me sounds more like it's fairy core. Royal core, period era fashion, but only the hyper feminine parts of it. It can be a modern interpretation of it or something a bit more historically inspired. It is not as strict as other styles created around the period fashion concept. The good thing about this one is that no one cares if it's historically accurate. Hyper femininity. The romantic style is feminine, but this section is about the ultra hyper feminine styles. Some of them can be a bit more romantic, but not all of them are like that. Glam is also a part of this family and it is not romantic at all. Soft girl. This is the cute feminine look. I guess it could be the sister style to the more edgy e-girl style. The coquette or nymphette styles are a mix between ethereal fashion and the soft girl style. I guess in a way I would call them ethereal but practical. Sometimes it is called Lolita fashion as well, but Lolita fashion is actually something completely different. The bimbo. In a sense, this style could be referred to as a real life Barbie. This is another style that was born as a way to reclaim a word that was commonly used as an insult to women. The other style that I've talked about before is the art ho style which is in last week's video. The original bimbo was a very curvy woman with blonde hair that wore revealing clothing and heavy makeup. Very Barbie and Bratz inspired. Now, this style is a way to reclaim hyper femininity and it is open to everyone and not just the people who fit the original bimbo stereotype. It shares a lot of similarities with the booty, soft girl and glam styles, but make it a little bit more pink and hyper feminine. I have also seen people calling it soft body. Tropical and Mediterranean styles. This style family is ideal for those who want to be fashionable in very hot weather or climates. Resort wear. 
Resort fashion would be the elegant high-end version of tropical and Mediterranean styles. There is even a fashion season in which fashion houses present their resort collections. Italian maximalism would also be part of the high-end version of Mediterranean fashion, but resort wear is a lot more relaxed and it has a slight minimalist feel to it. Casual tropical or casual Mediterranean? This is probably what you think when you think about tropical or Mediterranean styles. It also shares a lot of similarities with the boho style. Think fresh and practical, but still fashionable enough. The Coconut Girl The Coconut Girl would be the Y2K version of the casual Mediterranean girl. It is a lot more playful and it includes groovy and vintage or vintage inspired elements from the early 2000s, the 90s and the 70s. Streetwear Technically, streetwear is anything that you wear on the street, <laughs> but the way that we have been using this word is to describe bolder fashion. It also tends to be a bit more androgynous. Something very interesting is that this is one of the few more male-dominated fashion spaces. Streetwear The style that we usually associate with this term is a mix of 90s hip-hop fashion, the surf and skate subculture, and Japanese street fashion. Nowadays, it also has a heavy utility wear influence. Maximalism Maximalism is about more is more, and there are a lot of branches to it. Something that I have mentioned a lot on this video is the Italian maximalism, because this is a more romantic take on it. But in this section, when I'm talking about maximalism, I'm talking about that look that combines regular streetwear with haute couture or high fashion. Think about the creative outfits that you see people wearing at fashion week. Athleisure. This is a hybrid between sportswear, activewear, and casual fashion. Have you experimented with any of these styles or the ones from the previous video? And if not, how would you describe your own style? If you want more fashion tips, you can go to my written blog, michaelumston.com. Or you can hire me as your stylist at cocostyling.com. Have a nice day and I'll see you next Wednesday.